Hey guys, we're gonna do a super cute uh, spider rock. I've been meaning to do this one for a long time. Um, the only reason I haven't is I just got bumped. I keep thinking of different things, but we're heading into Halloween season, so spiders are adorable for Halloween if you make them cute like we're going to. I'm just using this gel pen to just add my web on here. You could use a liner brush and a stripe of white acrylic or your Posca paint pens or whatever you have. This is just what I had near me. And we're gonna just add, like this is the edge of a web out to one side like that. Edge of the web out to the other side like that. And then we'll attach them along the top just to give our little guy some more to hang from. Get a little bit of dust in here. There we go. Again, liner brush just as well. All right, so we've got our place for our spider to hang out. Uh, for the rest of this, we're gonna be using brushes and I do have my dotting tools as well. So I've got my black paint. I'm gonna put it back here. I'm not gonna put a whole lot. I can always get more. Um, black goes on pretty dark, pretty easily. And you can really grab any style of brush you want for this. It's funny, this one I just grabbed doesn't have a size on it. It's probably one of my little kids brushes. It almost looks like a makeup brush. Maybe I shouldn't use it. Um, but really any size brush. Let's see, what did we pull this time around? Five, round number five. And we're just gonna go right into our paint. Load up your brush, kind of dab, dab, dab into your paint to kind of load up the bristles on the inside too. Just kind of fill it up. And you're gonna start where you're gonna put your spider on your web, center of his body. And you're just gonna kind of dab him on here. So you're gonna dab, 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 making him slightly bigger and slightly bigger until you like the size of your spider. And then once you like the size of your spider, just kind of go along your edges and even him out just a little bit, just to give him some little fluffies, I guess. I <laughs> have my little spider's fuzzy and fluffy, I guess. All right. Now we also, we will need a liner brush for our legs. Might need a little more paint, we'll see. Now again, we're having a very fun, friendly spider, so we're gonna have our legs coming out, holding on, because he's climbing down, right? So kind of go out to the side. Out to the side. And then we'll do another one up here. You can have that one come in a little bit earlier. Now, if you're not comfortable with a liner brush with this, 1M Posca pens would do just fine. Big thing with the liner brushes, you wanna load it nice and kinda of give it a couple of stripes in the paint. And then you don't wanna to press too hard. Like, kinda of let the paint grab onto the rock. Now we're gonna make our little friendly spider up here. He's gonna have one hand saying, hey. Maybe we'll have him holding a sign let's do that we're gonna have this side have this side and holding on and holding up there we go now our center is almost dry here um, but I want to do a sign, so let's, maybe we'll have them holding a sign that says like, boo, how cute would that be? I'm going to use this again. I almost want to get up and find my 1M now, All right? Just like a little piece of paper. Sorry, off the screen there. Maybe it's a second to dry. There we go. All right. His little body there is getting nice and dry. So we're going to start adding our eyes on here. Um... Got a really big dotting tool here. Well, big in comparison to my rock. 
I'm gonna make nice, big, bulging, wide eyes here. So load up your dotting tool. When you do your dots, you wanna just let them kind of grab onto the rock. You don't wanna to actually touch the rock with your tool. You can kind of control your size. There you go. I'm gonna let those dry and then we'll go back in with our little pupil. I definitely cannot write boo with this. I'm sure some people could. We're gonna let these dry, but we'll speed that up. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and add the pupil on our spider eye. So we're gonna do the same thing, work right out of our lid. Uh, shake it up first so you get a good amount of paint on there. Take a clean dotting tool and go ahead and load it up onto your dotter. So just load it on there, okay? Um, and then you should have like almost like a little drip that will be kind of coming from it. And that's what, that's the center of what you're about to lay. So we'll just go ahead you want really big pupils, so you can kind of watch from the side what you're doing. Load it up again so you have a nice, good amount of paint. Again, look to the side angle so you can see that dot spreading, and then you'll see where you like it and just pull up. All right, now those are gonna take a little bit longer to dry, but I'll do that quickly, and we'll add our highlights. Okay, so we've got just another second here. We're gonna let those eyes go, but I need this spider to have a smile. I just do. I think white will be just a little too bright, so I just went with gray here, and I'm just gonna come in and just give them the cutest, tiniest little grin. Right in the center here. I just felt like he needed that just a bit and then we're gonna go at our highlights so for this one we'll use an even smaller dotting tool if you don't have dotting tools look around your house I'm sure you've got something you can use as dotting tools um, toothpicks the ends of your paintbrushes nail heads basically anything can be a dotting tool however uh, we do have links to supplies if you want to grab these they're actually really affordable all right so we're just gonna add one little highlight same thing kind of get your head low so you can see where it's gonna drop just dab it on that upper corner, fill up, dab it on the upper right hand corner. Oh my gosh, he's the sweetest. Okay, super fun. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, the spider. If you're working on Halloween rocks, I'll leave the Halloween playlist at the end. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna watch ad free content, you can join us as a rock star over on patreon.com. So we'll see you soon with another rock painting tutorial for beginners. Bye-bye.